Hey, what's up guys? Rob here, aka Chrome Skull. I feel like laid to rest right now, that's what I feel like. Um, welcome to day six of Horror Madness. Uh, basically, you know, every day in October I pull out a random horror film from this box and uh, show you guys on camera and basically watch that film for that particular day. Uh, the next day I will talk about the film a little bit uh, just to see if I liked it or if I disliked it. Um, so my pick yesterday was Mandrake, uh, directed by Trip Reed. And I did enjoy this one. And like I said, I've seen this one uh, one time before, and I remember enjoying it. I just didn't um, really remember anything about the film other than there was like a part plant, part animal creature and uh, they did a really good job with the effects and I, I don't know I really like this one so uh, I would definitely recommend this to uh, people for sure uh, Mandrake so uh, yeah you know each day in October I'm gonna be pulling out a random horror film from this box so let's reach in here just kind of wiggle things around a little bit maybe pick something up the bottom or something Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Um, wasn't expecting this. We have the Amityville Horror Remake um, with Ryan Reynolds. Now, <clears throat> I know this is kind of controversial among fans and, you know, the horror community. Um, I know there's a lot of people who don't like this movie. But, um, I actually like this more than the original. Uh, I, the thing is, I like Amityville 2, Amityville Horror 2, more than I like the original. Uh, there's just, the original to me is just way too slow. And it's hard when, when things happen, it just, I don't think it's paced very well. I think this movie's paced a lot better. Plus, there are things in this movie that are kind of the same as the original, but there are a lot of different things. I love Ryan Reynolds' performance in this movie. Uh, he's usually the funny man, and I feel like in this movie he really showed how serious he can be. Uh, even though there is some comedy in it, but... In all, I think he did a fantastic job. Melissa George, the same thing. Um, I think she, you know, she did a great job too. Uh, it's got Philip Baker Hull in it. Um, but it was directed by Andrew Douglas. Um, it was a 2005 film. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, let me read the synopsis. Uh, those of you who, you know, haven't seen this or whatever. From Michael Bay, the producer of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which was another good remake, comes the true story of Amityville. 1974, a family of six was brutally murdered. Now a year later, unsuspecting young couple, uh, played by Ryan Reynolds and Melissa George, and their children move into the house that was on the site of the horrific event and is now haunted by murderous president, or mur blah, 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 a murderous presence. Well, I was about to say a murderous president. <laughs> what follows is 28 days of unimaginable terror. With demonic visions and the dead relentless screams of terror, this is the haunted house story that isn't just a movie, it's real. Um, you know, I remember a couple scenes in this, like the, the babysitter scene with the closet and the little girl. Um, I thought that was really, really good. Um, catch him, kill him. The whole, you know, in the basement thing, he finds a secret compartment. There's the, uh, you find the story of the guy who, you know, murdered people. Like, it's, it's all, ha it all has to do with the basement. And I always thought that was awesome. So, yeah, I like this movie. I thought they did a good job with it. And, uh, I'm gonna see if it still holds up. I have not seen it in a while. So... Yep, this is my pick for day six of Horror Madness. I'm going to watch it, and um, when I pick a new movie out of the box on day seven, I will talk about this, 
and tell you guys what I thought. All right, so I really appreciate you guys joining me every day for this. Um, it's a lot of fun being able to just pick out a random film from here. Um, I know James Bamsey, you said that uh, I'm going to be picking nothing but straight to DVD releases out of here. That's not true. Um, in here I have a lot of popular horror films. A lot of, um, you know, mainstream kind of horror films. And yes, I do have a mix of straight to DVD ones. But that's the thing. I wanted to mix it up and even recommend movies to people that uh, maybe they don't know about that have gone straight to DVD and I you know I have a ton to recommend to people so anyway um, yeah that is the series and what it's about I uh, hope you enjoy it and um, subscribe for more content uh, October is my favorite month of the year um, I love Halloween stuff I love dressing up and things like that so um, yeah, stay tuned for day seven, and we'll see what I pick out of the box on that day. All right, guys, this is Rob signing off. See you in the next video.